In this video we're going to talk about how to add a quick list where it says select codes underneath the select codes on the fee sheet. There are a couple places you need to go. The first one, when you open the program, it's new, you will have new patient and established patient there already. Let me show you where those are located. If you go to administration forms list it will bring you to here from here you want to click on and select the sheet now you can add to this one if you'd like follow the same pattern that's here and you can add CPT codes only you cannot add ICD 10s to any list here if you want to get rid of this list just delete everything that's here and it'll go away from the fee sheet now the other thing that you want to do is to add ICD-10s and CPTs. You can use the service categories list. As you can see, I did injections. And if I want to add another category, which is make that too. This order sets them with what count order they were going to show up on the screen. So if you put nothing there then they'll show up in alphabetical order. If you put numbers in there they'll show up in the numbered order. If you notice every time I click save, when you add one every time you click save there will always be three blank boxes at the bottom. That's the way the system is designed. Now if I were to go back to my fee sheet and reload it you will see that I will have weight loss there as well. Now, how do I populate these? In order to populate this, you go to Administration, Codes, and in the Codes table, and let's say I said we're going to be populating with um, ICD-10s, so I'm going to do the injections first. So I'm going to go ahead and type in what I'm looking for in my ICD-10 course I have no clue what I'm doing I'm just doing this at random so I'm gonna select the first one here on the list which I'm gonna click on modify and when I click on modify it will populate up here in the top and what to do here is that I'm gonna select the category that I want this ICD-10 to be in which is injections and also at this point I'm gonna add the fee for that injection and then go ahead and click update once I select update then once I go back to my fee sheet and open it back up you can see that under injections now I have this one here and this one here and if I select this there we go it's kind of finicky about where you click at to get it to select so be careful about that and once I click OK then it will populate my fee sheet with that. If I need it for justification, I just click justify and then select my particular ICD-10 that I'm using to justify my CPT code. Okay. The other things you could do, of course, is for oh CPTs. It works the same way. If I go back to codes and if I put in here, let me see if the, this is just going to be a wild shot on my side. Oh. Right, we didn't put any CPTs in here. So I'm going to go with the CPTs that are in the system. If I just select and do the same process, go to edit. The ICD-10s you can only modify. The CPTs you can edit because you can change what's there. Uh, ICD-10s you cannot change the wording, uh, but you can change the wording for CPT codes because they can be manually entered and all I have to do is just select weight loss and that's if that's what I want this category to be and save it right here where it says update click update and now when I go back to my fee sheet and reopen it let's do this here here and now if I click on weight loss there my routine eye exam is here okay and then of course I can select that if that's what I want it to be all right, and then of course it does populate my fee sheet with the prices that I put in there. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.